Hello, and welcome to Vietnam Travel News and Tips. Today is a brief video to talk about discussions by leaders in the tourism trade about visa policies for foreign tourists visiting Vietnam. Stay tuned for more on that. Firstly, please think about subscribing to our channel to hear about all travel news inside Vietnam. In the near future, we will also be offering discount codes, special offers, new hotel deals, and many helpful tips for your journey through Vietnam. Before we talk about our first item today, please watch out for another helpful tip for traveling to Ha Long Bay, later in the video, it is quite a crazy rule by some cruises, so it's important to know, especially if you have children. Today, we noticed in the news that certain leaders in their profession have talked about increasing the countries on the visa exemption list. It is also stated they thought extending to 30 days instead of the 15 for some countries in Europe. Professor Dr. Tran Ding Tian, an economic expert, has said, this is the opportunity we need to take advantage of, and open the door wider, and stronger, affirming Vietnam's position on the world tourism map. He went on to say, even though the door is open like before the pandemic, it is only feasible to welcome 25 to 30 percent of guests. Therefore, it is necessary to expand the visa-free policy to more countries. Other countries in the area offer far more favorable visa exemption policies, such as, Thailand, 64 countries, Indonesia, 70. And the Philippines, 157. Ms. Tranwin, sales director of Sun World, Sun Group, has proposed expanding the visa exemption policy to markets such as Australia and New Zealand. We know a few subscribers who would be happy with that, if it ever came true. Fingers crossed. Many tourists from Europe tend to stay longer than the 15-day visa exemption would allow. So extending the visa exemption policy to 30 days would surely attract far more tourists from that market. Also at this conference of tourism leaders in Quangning, it was suggested that if the 15-day visa exemption was fixed, why not make the process easier, by allowing an online electronic visa extension? Now this does sound promising. Next today. One more Halong Bay tip, which we feel needs to be addressed, if you are traveling with children. We must stress, this is not all cruises, but to make you aware, before you book and get a costly surprise. Most Halong Bay cruises will charge cheaper rates for young children, sometimes 75%, between the ages of 6 and 12. But, it's the age of your child, which can cause problems. Some cruises will count the year of birth, and not both the month and year. For example, your child is born December 2016, today, you would say they are 5, which could be free, if sharing a bed. But they will say 6 years old and cost you, so our advice, always tell them the month and year, your child was born, when booking a Halong Bay cruise, to save on any surprises. We do hope this was helpful. Has this happened to you, please write in the comments below. That's all for today, we hope to see you again next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.